come on, smack that. Isn't that like an Akon song? Smack that, all on the floor, smack that. She wants some more, smack that. Smack it! You smack that. Not long ago, I decided to ditch the corporate grind to pursue my passions for traveling and the great outdoors. So I sold everything, moved into a trailer full time, and now I'm fishing my way across the entire country. There you go. Fish out. Look at that. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. That was insane. All right, guys. So we just got to Waterloo, New York, to Waterloo Harbor Campground and Fuzzy Guppies Kayak Shop. This is where we'll be spending the next couple of weeks as we explore upstate New York. So we're about to go meet Justin Hausner. He's the owner here, super cool guy. He runs the New York Kayak Bass Fishing Tournament Trail. And we're gonna go talk. He's gonna be our guide for the next couple of weeks, a couple different fishing trips. So we're gonna go talk to him about the game plan, figure out what we're gonna be fishing for up here in New York. Look at that first cast here at Waterloo Harbor Campground in uh, Waterloo, New York. Just got to the Finger Lakes and uh, couldn't even set up the trailer before at least making one cast into this little canal river right behind the campground. Crystal clear water so I threw the little Ned rig and there is my first smallmouth here in the Finger Lakes. Not a big guy but uh, super fun. This is a lamb and glass uh, Paco series rod, eight to 10 pound test, really light rod. But uh, these little guys are bruisers for their size. So what I always do with the Ned Rig, I like to throw this thing out, let it sink all the way to the bottom. I make sure to let enough line out that it's gonna sink straight down. Once it hits the bottom, I do not move it for really a good like 10 Mississippi. And when I say don't move it, I mean I don't move its position, but sometimes I'll kind of vibrate the rod tip, just lightly twitch the rod tip, just trying to make that Z-Man Ned Rig kind of jiggle. If nothing hits it, I'll give it a subtle hop. If nothing hits that, maybe a couple subtle hops. If nothing hits that, then I'll do a big, big pop, get it way up up the bottom and let it sink again. And really that, the only purpose there is to get that kind of falling action again. A lot of times, these fish are gonna follow something small like the Ned Rig down to the bottom. So getting it back up in the water column, letting it fall, it's a great strategy to kind of reset, if you will. Two of those, and I'm just reeling it in, making another cast to another another location. But the Ned Rig, guys, I am not an expert. I am from Texas. This is not a thing down in Texas, really. Definitely would work there, but it's really a clear water technique. So anytime I come to some clear water like this, and this is about as clear as I've ever fished, if I don't know the area at all, the Ned Rig is gonna be my go-to. And now I'm not an expert, like I said, so not saying that's the right way to work it, but that's the way that I like to work it. So another key when you're working the Ned Rig is you want to fish it super slow. Hop, hop, hop. Good, a big hop. Let's reset this cast. Now let it fall. We just moved it eight feet. Get it away from where it was. There was nothing watching it or they're not going to eat it either way. Bring it eight feet to the surface. Let it fall again and let it sit. Jiggle the rod tip. Hop it. One hop this time, bah. two hops this time, bah, bah. roll again, da, 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 da. It's just like that song. He was talking about bass fish with the Ned Rig. Y'all don't even know it. And there is what I believe is a chain pickerel. It could be a small pike. I don't really know these species well enough. Beautiful little fish. I'm assuming it's a little chain pickerel. Just at this little dock right in the back of Waterloo Harbor Campground here. Fuzzy guppies, killer little kayak shop. Uh, just loving it so far. Having a blast and some light tackle fun right after showing up. Can't beat that. Apparently the Canadian geese are migrating. They are everywhere. Everywhere. Flying V's should have been the mighty geese. I don't know why they called it the mighty ducks. I'll be real honest, I kind of suck at birds. Those might even be ducks. I don't even know. They sound like geese. They're honking. Maybe that's quacking, I don't know. I don't even know anymore. A little 412 Bay Company Yoda. Upsize the bay a little bit, see if we can't entice something a little bigger to bite. A lot of grass in here. I rid the weedless. I'm still picking some up. I see it. 
Oh my gosh, this bait looks good. Try over here, avoid the grass, avoid the grass. Oh, that's not, that's not avoiding the grass, that's nailing the grass. Literally fishing with my rod tip in the water. Try to avoid some of this grass that's floating on the surface. Now, I would not recommend this for something where detecting the bite is important. Putting your rod tip in the water really dampens that action, dampens that sensitivity. But when you're fishing something like a swim bait where you're constantly tight on your line, uh, you're gonna feel that bite really no matter what. It's gonna pull back on you immediately. So I'll stick the rod tip in the water when I got floating grass that's really kind of cramping my style. And uh, that's the only way I'm able to get this thing all the way in without picking up some of this grass. Haters will say I'm pro staff, but the Kitex swim bait, the Ned Rig, the 412 Yoda, I have no affiliation with any of them. That's that, that real real, that new new, that good good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Uh, I don't know if you can see that in the GoPro. Let me see. Put the shady rays on. Can you see it now? I don't know if they're worth the same for cameras. Oh, come on, smack that. Isn't that like an Akon song? Smack that, all on the floor, smack that. She wants a more, smack that. Smack it! He smacked that. Turns navigate, he's a lottery. Died the next day. Black fly in your Chardonnay. It's a death row party. Two minutes too late. And isn't it ironic? Don't you think? It's like rain on a rainy day. All day. fun. I love a place where I can just show up and start catching fish. I like New York. Wow. I think that's number five I've caught. Is it really? Yeah. And that... Oh, that's a little, that's a little northern. Well, my first northern pike here at Waterloo Harbor Campground. Everything is hitting the Ned Rig right now. That's small mouth, large mouth, chain pickerel, and now, not a big, but decent little pike. Nice. Yeah, man. <laughs> Dude, would you take a picture with my phone? Absolutely. Oh, that'd be killer. <laughs> Too much fun right now. Everything's hitting this Ned Rig. <laughs> So, I made you this. Oh, my own tackle box. Pop quiz. Yes. Do you remember me talking about a chatterbait? Yes. So pick out the chatterbait in your box. Could be that one. But I think it's this one. You're right. <laughs> Nailed it. But this thing catches the water and it chatters. So this is the chatterbait. This is what we're gonna throw tonight. But we're gonna put on this guy because you see this is called a paddle tail oh, kind of looks it like a paddle it kind of well no but it thumps the water okay. this big paddle tail grabs water and kind of gives a vibration it looks like noodles you know like that eat it they're good they taste good Ooh, <laughs> gross <laughs> it's just plastic mm -mm, it's plastic with some juice on it for flavor all right guys so we just rolled up here to Waterloo Harbor Campground. My boy Justin Hausner hooked us up with a spot. This place is so rad. Before we get down to business, we tried to get Jamie her first Northern Pike in Vermont. It did not work out. We're about to change her luck. So we're right here on the water. Here's the camper. Here's the water. And Justin tells us there's some Northern Pike in this thing. So we're about to get Jamie on her first one. Boom. Okay, give it one Mississippi. Good, good, good. Brought it down. 
Oh, yeah, you're on. That was, yep, 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 real, real, real. That's fish. You're on. Looks like a small bass. So, so boom. It was so warm. First New York fish, so grab it by the mouth. They won't hurt you. If you grab them by the gills, you're, you're killing the fish. Not the target species, but that's a fish. There's a fish right there. Beautiful little bass. Not the northern pike we're after, but. All right, well, our time here at Waterloo Harbor Campground is off to a killer start. I mean, we literally just got here. I already knocked off several species of fish. Jamie got her first fish in New York ever. Now we're gonna do something a little bit different. Today, we're gonna do a little hiking. So we're heading down to Ithaca, New York, about an hour away to Robert H. Treeman State Park. Jamie did her first hike ever in Vermont. She loved it, we had a great time. So we're gonna do a little more hiking today, show you that, and then next episode, we're gonna get out with Justin on the kayaks, chase some walleye, some smallmouth, and maybe even some musky. So check this out, hope you enjoy uh, our second hike, Jamie and I, and I'll catch you on the next episode when we go do a little more fishing. Robert H. Treeman State Park here in Ithaca, New York. Absolutely gorgeous, doing a little hiking. So where are we going, Navigator? All right, so we're gonna start on the Gorge Trail because we wanna see Lucifer Falls. Then we'll go back on the Rim Trail, which is like a... So basically we'll walk like down by the water, it looks like on the one side in, and then on the way out, we'll be walking way high up above the gorge. Yeah. Lucifer, <laughs> like the devil. like uh, uphill both ways kind of feelings. Feeling it? Feeling it? My heart is. It's a harder than the first because it's like uphill the entire time. The other one was like divots. Let's walk slower. Time for a break. It's pretty strenuous. Not gonna lie. I said we try to hike something in every, in every state. state. Absolutely. Yeah. New tradition. It's just born. 